Hello investors, welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. Today we're going to be discussing the top six dividend stocks to buy right now and to look at. Now these are stocks that have had a major pullback in the recent weeks and have given us a great buying opportunity for long term holds with a nice dividend. Now before we get into the list guys, make sure you go ahead and uh, take a second to subscribe to the channel so you get notified with more content like this. And also don't forget to smash that like button for me. Can we get over 200 likes on this video? Let's try to aim for 200. Leave a comment below what stocks you're buying right now in this month. These are the top six stocks that I'm going to be looking at for the month of April. All right, guys, so the number six stock on our list for April's uh, dividend picks are gonna be, is going to be 3M. MMM is the ticker symbol. So this is an American multinational conglomerate corporation. Uh, in the fields of uh, the industry, worker safety, U.S. healthcare, and consumer goods. So 3M is actually one of the major companies right now that is uh, creating the N uh, N95 masks for everybody, the respiratory masks. Um, you know, 3M has, you know, it was trading up here at about $181 uh, in the beginning of the year. It pulled back all the way down to 117 and it's currently trading at 147.78. Um, the stock is down about 18% from its all-time highs, so 18% you know, drop right there. Um, and I feel like this is a nice buying opportunity for any dividend investors that are you know, looking for stocks to hold for the long term. And these are, stocks, all, these are all stocks that I'm going to be looking at to add to my portfolio, obviously. So if we take a look at this, they have a P.E. ratio of 17.45. Their dividend rate is $5.88 every year with a yield of 3.98%, uh, so almost a 4% dividend yield. Their market cap is at $85 billion pretty much right there, as you can see. So, you know, pretty decent company. If we take a look at their uh, dividend, obviously it's $1.47. Um, if we look at their dividend yield, uh, we can look at some of their stuff like the four-year average yield is 2.74%. The, the dividend has been increasing, you know, as the year has gone by all these, you know, four or five years has been going higher and higher. And obviously, with the price being so low now with the pullback, the, the dividend is, you know, reached this current price at almost a 4% dividend. Uh, if we look at their um, dividend growth, the company has had 61 years of growth. Now, you're not going to find out, you know, that many companies out there that had a 61 years of growth. So for 61 years that this dividend has grown, it even had a split right here twice. But um, this dividend is just growing every year more and more at currently at that $5.76 per share yearly. Now, that is really nice to see. I mean, 61 years, amazing. If, if a company has over 50 years, that's something really, you know, successful to see. Their dividend history, obviously, their uh, quarterly payouts are, you know, getting higher and higher or staying the same every year. Uh, currently, it's about $1.47 per quarter. Not bad at all. Their di dividend safety, if we look right here for the payout ratio, um, you know, it's get, getting a little bit higher. It's uh, up here in the 60, 70 percent. I like it to be under 50 percent. Uh, but I, I believe once the price starts to uh, even out, this will, you know, back and uh, pull back to down to the low 50s like it's been. So I think that's OK. Um, let's look back at the summary again. Um, you know, the stock 18 percent down. I think that this is a really decent buying opportunity for any dividend long term holders. All right. Number five on our list is going to be Cisco, ticker symbol CSCO. So Cisco is an American multinational technology conglomerate. Uh, Cisco develops and manufactures, sells networking, net, networking hardware, software, telecommunications equipment, and uh, other high uh, technology services and products. So Cisco was trading at a high of about almost fifty dollars right there, um, you know, in about February, and it pulled back all the way down to about thirty-three dollars and twenty cents per share. Currently, it's trading at about forty-one dollars and twenty cents. So the stock is still down about 28% from that all-time high, or not the all-time high, but the high of um, this year, which is around $50 per share. So it has a 28% you know, gap still to fill up here. If we look over here, their P.E. ratio is 13.3 with a dividend rate of $1.44 per year. And their yield is actually pretty decent with a 3.5% yield. So 3.5% yield is nice. Market cap of 174.72 billion, really nice market cap as well. Uh, if we look at their dividend right here, like we said, 36 cents per uh, quarter. Their dividend yield, um, they've had a four year average yield of 3.11%. So it stayed pretty consistent throughout the years, it dropped a little bit here in 2018 and 19, um, but it's pretty decent. If we look at their dividend growth, the years of growth is eight years. So for eight years, they've had dividend growth started down here at about 50 cents. Currently, it's at about $1.38 per year per share, obviously. 
And then if we look at their uh, dividend history, it has been increasing or staying about the same, um, you know, currently at about 36 cents per uh, quarter, which is not bad at all. And then their dividend safety, their payout ratio is about 46.49. So it, it was here in the 37s, one up and now it's kind of pulling back a little bit. So it's not that bad at all. Um, another stock that I'm going to be keeping an eye on, especially since it's in the tech sector and the tech sector has not been hit that much by this pullback, but it's something to look at. All right. So the number four pick is going to be Merck and Co. So this is a ticker symbol MRK. This is an American multinational pharmaceutical company and one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, actually. Now, I believe that healthcare stocks and like pharmaceutical stocks like this are going to have a really good time right now because the virus, everybody is trying to figure out a cure and just pharmaceutical and healthcare is, is on the rise, it seems like, or is going to be, be having a really nice, uh, you know, boom after all this is over. Um, I'm going to be mentioning another stock actually later on. That's another healthcare stock. Um, I believe that these healthcare stocks are going to be doing really good in the future, especially with uh, Bernie Sanders out of the race. Actually, I think that's going to help out a lot of the healthcare stocks because uh, now they don't have to worry about his free healthcare. So this stock was trading at a high of about $91 right here in January, pulled back all the way down here to about $66 per share. Currently, it's trading at $82.49. The stock is down about 10% from the highs up there. Um, you know, it was even more before, but it's had this pool. You know, it's it's uh, risen back up really quickly. Their P.E. ratio is 14.62, really low P.E. ratio. Dividend yield is $2.44 a year of a yield of about 2.96%, so almost a 3% yield. Market cap, really nice, $208.29 billion. Good market cap to look at. Their dividend, if we look at 61 cents, their dividend yield, if we take a look right here, four-year average yield of about 3%. So it stayed consistent about that 3% range at, um, you know, 2.5%, 3%. It's stayed around that uh, range the whole time. Their dividend growth, they've had uh, nine years of growth, so that's not bad at all. Their dividend has been growing, as you can see, higher and higher. Here it had a little pullback, but it's back up now, and it's about $2.26 per share. Their dividend history, if we take a look here, Obviously, it's risen or stayed the same. Currently, it's at about 61 cents per quarter, so not bad at all. Dividend safety, it's the payout ratio is about 43.25%. It was up here in the 50s, mid-50s, pulled back down to about 46, and it stayed about in the 40s right now, so not bad at all. Um, another stock, obviously, that I'm going to be taking a look at for my portfolio in the month of April. Next up at the number three spot, we have Honeywell International. So this is going to be ticker symbol HON. This is an American multinational conglomerate company headquartered in North Carolina. So Honeywell, just like 3M, is also another company that is really blasting out those N95 respiratory masks right now. So both of them and 3M are really, really pushing those right now and are one of the, you know, two of the top companies that are pushing out as many as they can to help out the whole, you know, world pretty much. Uh, this stock was trading at a high right here in February of $179.42 pulled back all the way down here to about $103, almost broke under that $100 barrier, currently trading at $143.43. So that is a pullback of about negative 20%. So it's still down 20% from this high right here of $180-ish. Um, so 20% gap that we can fill up. Their P.E. ratio is 18.25. Once again, another low P.E. ratio. These P.E. ratios are super low right now. Dividend rate, $3.60 per year or about 2.5% dividend yield. With a market cap of just above 100 billion at 101.45 billion. If we look at their dividend, obviously 90 cents. If we take a look here at their dividend, uh, four year average yield is 1.96%. So it's been, you know, consistently about almost $2 range, but now with the price fluctuating, uh, obviously the dividend is a little bit higher. If we look at their dividend growth, they've had 16 years of growth. So 16 years they have grown their dividend, you know, starting down here in the 70 cents area, currently at about $3.36 per share. If we look at their dividend history, uh, obviously they've increased quarterly or stayed about the same, you know, every year. So right now they're a high of about 90 cents per quarter per share. Uh, so they pay, you know, every quarter. Their dividend yield um, or dividend safety, the payout ratio is about 45.8%. It was down here in the low 30s and it has been increasing slowly and now it's in the 40s, but that's still okay. As long as it's under the 50s, that's something that I look at when I look at stocks to add to my portfolio. So Honeywell, another company that I'm going to be taking a look at for my portfolio. The number two stock on our list is going to be Union Pacific, ticker symbol UNP. 
So this one might be like, what? what is Union Pacific? A lot of you guys might not have heard of this one, but I've actually made a video about these last year and they were a decent company. Uh, this is a railroad holding company and you know they have a decent dividend actually and some nice growth. So this company was trading at about $185 per share, dropped down to about 114, currently trading at $148.73. So their P.E. ratio, once again, super low at 18. Uh, dividend rate, $3.88 per year with a yield of 2.61% with a market cap just above $100 billion at $100.92 billion. Uh, if we look at their, um, you know, they're, they're down about 20%, actually. Let me, don't, don't forget that. So they're down 20% from their all-time or their high for uh, February. So 20%, you know, gap that we still have to fill. Uh, if we look at their dividend right here, 97 cents. If we look here at their dividend, uh, four-year average yield is about 2%. So it's been about 2%, you know, staying consistent about 1.8, 2%. And now it's, you know, jumped up because of this uh, pullback, obviously. But if we look at their dividend growth right here, uh, they've had 14 years of growth. So this company has been growing for 14 years. I mean, down here was a super low dividend. And look at this. It's been growing and growing every year rapidly, actually. So it's really nice right here, uh, $3.70 per share currently. If we take a look at their uh, dividend history, uh, the court, they pay quarterly. So it was about $0.55. Cents, and currently it's been rising at almost a dollar. So it's about $0.97 cents per quarter currently. And then their dividend safety, their payout ratio is about 47%. It was down here in 2015 at a low about 35, went up to about 45, went back down, and now it's pulling back up to closer to the 40, almost 50% uh, percent range. So Union Pacific, another one that I'm looking at for my portfolio, uh, if we take a look you know, at their five year, the, the company has just been growing. It was down here at 74 and it's just been growing every year. So this is a really decent company in my opinion to hold, um, especially because it has a nice dividend about 2%, 2.5% depending on the time period when you get it. So this one is uh, definitely one I'm going to take a look at. All right, our number one pick is going to be United Healthcare Group, ticker symbol UNH. This is an American for-profit uh, managed healthcare company. It offers healthcare products and insurance services. It is the largest healthcare company in the world by revenue. In 2019, they actually had about 242.2 billion in revenue. Uh, United Healthcare, you know, th they were one of my favorite stocks in the past couple years. But in the past year and a half, they've been doing horribly. And I feel like it's also had to do a lot with politics. So I'm not going to get into that. But if we take a look at this stock, in, in 2015, it was trading at $120 per share. It's been rising, you know, slowly up here all the way up to a high of about $306 per share. So if we take a look at their six month, obviously, right here, they were at about $305, you know, $306 all time high, 52 week high. They came down all the way to $194. That is a huge jump down, you know. The stock was trading at $194 per share. Currently, it's trading at $264.13. Uh, the stock is still down about 13%, but I feel like now, like like I said, mentioned earlier, um, you know, Bernie Sanders is out of the race, so I feel like this stock is more safe now to hold because they don't have to worry about that going on with him. But the P.E. ratio is 16.19%. Dividend rate four dollars and thirty-two cents per year, with a yield of one point six four percent. I know that the yield is pretty low, but this is a very very safe company for me to hold. I used to own a lot of shares of United Healthcare uh, or United Health Group, but I sold them out actually. I believe last year I sold all of my shares. But uh, you know they have really good revenue. One of the top companies, you know, the top company in the world by revenue. Uh, let's take a look at their dividend. So their dividend score, obviously $1.08. Their, their dividend yield, if we take a look right here, uh, four-year average yield of about 1.5% almost. So it's stayed you know, consistent. Their dividend growth, uh, years of growth, 11 years. So for 11 years, they've uh, consistently grown their dividend to about $4.14 per year currently. If we take a look at their dividend history, it was down about 50 cents down here. Currently, it's about $1.08 quarterly. So it is a quarterly paying dividend. And then their dividend safety, uh, the payout ratio is really low, actually, 26.48%. I really like that. That's a really, really low number that I like to look at. But uh, United Healthcare, definitely a great company. Um, you know, healthcare is something that's going to be booming in the future, in my opinion. So this one is definitely, I'm going to be taking a look to get back into this once again, like I used to invest last year and the years before. Well, guys, that's the list right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the top six uh, dividend stocks picks for April. Now, these are stocks that I'm going to be personally looking at, and I might buy some of them if I, you know, see a good buying opportunity for myself. Um, once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so before you invest into the stock market, make sure you do your own research, study the stocks on your own, the companies, make sure that it's a good buying opportunity in your opinion. Don't ever trade based off somebody else's opinion. So these are just uh, stocks that I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, that I'm looking at. 
But uh, the Dow Jones is currently, you know, having a little uh, run up. It, we've, we're up about 5,000 points from the low down here at about 18,000, 18,500 low. So, you know, currently the Dow Jones is almost at 24,000. And um, I feel like this week is going to be the major breaking point. So something's going to happen. Um, either we're going to continue to go up or we're going to tremendously go down because earnings season is coming. A lot of the banks are reporting earnings season uh, this week. And then after that, the earnings season is really going to kick off. So uh, whatever happens midweek in this uh, week right now in the second week of April is pretty much going to guarantee, you know, what's going to happen for the rest of the month. Uh, we're going to have to keep a really close eye out on this. And um, it might give us some more great buying opportunities if the market pulls back some more. But uh, if you guys enjoy this content, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video about stocks. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's try to get over 200 likes on this video. Leave a comment below what dividend stocks you like to invest in. What is your number one dividend stock in your portfolio? And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.